Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of items. One is Google Books, and then not only that, but the Google Play Books app. And so I'm going to talk about how you get free books from Google Books, download them, and then add them to your collection for the Android app or Chromebook. And this is really handy because the Android app, the Google Play Books app, makes reading much more enjoyable than just the Chrome browser. So let's check this out. Okay, so let's say that I'm wanting something specific. Maybe it's from Edgar Allan Poe. I'm going to switch this to books like so. And I'm going to switch this from any books to free Google eBooks. And what you're able to do is you're able to find books that are completely free. And let's say that I want the works of the late Edgar Allan Poe, which was written in 1859. It's kind of fun. I'm going to select it. It does have this nice reader where I could just read it from here, but I do like it in the app. And not only that, but within the app, then it's available offline. So I'm going to hit ebook free. I'm going to hit stay in Chrome. Ask me if I want to read it. I'll hit read. Now it's a part of my collection. And this is fine. If I want to read it from play.google.com slash books, uh, it'll work, but I also want this available offline. So what's fantastic is that once I have gone through those steps, then it automatically becomes part of the Google Play Store app for Google Play Books. And I've already installed this before. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And it is in my eBooks here. When I click on it, it is now available in the Android app, which is pretty fantastic because then I have the ability to also highlight this text. It has a nice visual appeal to it. And so if I wanted to mark something, I could long press on here and click and highlight what it is that I want to highlight. And I can choose a color and it's now highlighted. Okay, so let's say that I want to then long press here. You see that it comes up with a nice little dictionary as well, which is pretty fantastic. And if I want to mark this one, I could do a different color and I can hit the note button there. Let me press on it again. See the little post-it note right here? And I can select that, add a little note, save it. I'm going to click down here. I believe it's on the left-hand side. And you can see any notes that you have taken. A few other tools that are really handy are like, for example, when you highlight a word, it does give you the definition. Uh, it does have a translation option. You can copy text. And you can even search this word. So every time that this word comes up, the word companion in this book, you can see the situation. This is great for learning context as far as how the author intends to use a specific word. And for your students that need additional assistance, then what I can also do is I can utilize the text tool here. If I hit the display options, I can adjust what the text looks like. Font, the tone, uh, there's also a nightlight, font size, spacing between words. So those are all tools that you can have your students manipulate. And then lastly, some books even have the ability to read the book aloud. So I can hit the read aloud. A companion now showed me that one of the ends of the box. Again, this doesn't work with all books. And then I'm going to stop here. And then lastly, one thing that would be handy for your students to know is that they can also add bookmarks. So that way they can get back to where they had stopped. Great resources here in Google Play Books, and also there's a ton for free, so please check this out.